Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to tell if people are cheating in your online league and basically all the signs that give it away to help you have a, I don't know, safer, more fun league. Some encourage it, some don't. Either way, I'm gonna share the information. Now, of course, guys, before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, we've hit 30K at this point. And if we have, let's keep going to 40. And of course, comment down below if you have any other things to add to this or other ways people cheat in your league so that you can kind of lay it down below and give some other league commissioners and members an idea of how to check it out. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog. My link will be down below in the description as well in the comments. Make sure to use my code. If you do, you get up to $1,000 in your first deposit. You get a free pick, which is basically free money because it's a free it's a free win on one of your one of your picks. So make sure you do check it out. It's a great place to play. And don't forget to use my code. It helps out the channel a lot and helps me to make these videos for you each and every day. All right, guys, so let's go through it. So we actually have had an instance of this in my own league. So I have a pretty firsthand experience story here. Now, this does kind of tie off my video from last week. So make sure you do check that out because if you do want to do it, I'll show you how to do it. And it's a great, it's a great method to build your players, but we're just not going to allow it in my league. And some other leagues may allow it, some other leagues may not. Just know it's probably going on in most of your leagues. So make sure you are checking it out. So the first thing you want to do is go over to a roster. And honestly, there's some telltale signs here. There's some telltale signs. There's some rosters where you're looking around and you're like, hmm, this roster looks a little good. This guy hasn't really had the stats to get that. Or this guy hasn't really recruited that well you know it's really it's really weird or maybe he has motivator packages no he's been he's been trying to recruit he's definitely has recruiting packages and he starts to like think about it a little bit and you start to wonder how do they have so many abilities my my, my guy right my quarterback's doing great and he, he he can't get abilities his abilities aren't upgrading or my guy's a lot of abilities but i don't have ratings like like how is it happening so we did have an instance with this in my league so i have a great first hand example and that is with our oklahoma user so if you look over here look at this roster this guy is not a commissioner. He cannot edit stats. Yes, they did win some national championships, but for any of you guys who play, you've told me plenty. Winning national championships does not make you a five-star program. It does not blow up your recruiting. It does not do any... It doesn't make it that insane that you just get everything. This roster looks better than day one Georgia or Ohio State or Alabama, which is insane. And if you look, abilities galore, basically, right? So if you look at my last video, you have a better idea of how this works, but I'm going to go through it. If you go through each player, you'll basically start to see a trend and how to tell. So using this method or cheating in this way is going to simply be their abilities and their overall. And it's, it's very, it's very easy. Typically when playing CFB, if you, if you've played long enough, you already know players that get really high overalls typically don't have the best abilities. Players that have really good abilities typically don't have the best rating. And sometimes they meet in the middle at like a 91, 92, 93. And the reason being is that players use XP points or skill points to upgrade their ratings. So when they upgrade their ratings, they're not using it to upgrade abilities, which they also use skill points for. So you'll notice that there'll be a season where you'll have a player who's an 89 overall. And you're like, finally, he's going to hit 90. He's going to get a big bump. And then you get to the offseason. Like, he didn't go up at all. Then you check and you're like, oh, he got platinum jammer. He got platinum house call. He got gold robber. And you're like, oh, okay. He upgraded his abilities. Or you're like, finally, finally abilities. And then you go in and they upgraded like their awareness and IQ 10 points. And you're like, okay, well now he's 94, but really no abilities again. This is a method that allows you to juice your abilities for free, which then means all of their ratings basically go into their overall. So think about that. That is how you're able to get these guys to be such crazy overalls because every off season, all of their points basically go into the ratings bucket and none go into the abilities bucket. So this is important. And we're gonna go through a few here and there's a telltale sign. You'll start to notice a pattern of like the best guys in their position have all their platinums and golds. Their second best guy have some silvers, bronze, maybe a platinum, golds and silver. And you'll start to notice as you go down, they have nothing. Why is that? Because every player is basically being re-rolled or flipped to do this. Now, the way you do it and the way the whole process works, go watch my video from last week. It's the secret. It's the secret glitch. Go check it out. That video will give you exactly how to do it. I'm not going to waste your time with that in case you saw it, but you basically have to re-roll their positions a bunch of times and do a few other things in the off season. But the telltale sign when looking at a team, and by the way, I do want to state there are legal position changes. Some leagues may allow position changes, so don't, don't crucify a guy because they have this. The better way to do it is to look at their entire roster and see how many times they have this. So for us, there's a few teams that naturally have done this just accidentally. Like, oh, they changed the defensive tackle to end or end to defensive tackle or middle linebacker to left outside linebacker. There's regular ways this could happen. So don't crucify a guy where it's weird 
is when every player has it. Like even quarterbacks that you wouldn't change a position on or a halfback where you don't change their position. It gets weird at that point. And that's where I think it's illegal and kind of where it's cheating. So that's what you really want to be paying attention to. And also notice that some guys will actually have just unlocked their abilities. So that's why you need to find, it's just like in life, right? Detective work, you need to find multiple instances of it to tie it all together. So for instance, look at this cornerback. When looking at thresholds under their physical abilities, you'll notice when a player has been re-rolled or cheated for, they will have every single ability that they're eligible for and none that they're not. Why is that important? When you recruit an elite five-star edge rusher, you'll notice they may come with platinum quick jump. What you'll also notice is that platinum quick jump requires them to have a 92 or 90 plus, right? Uh, pass rush, pass rush move or power move or finesse, right? So the important thing to note here is that a, a real recruit that naturally grows can actually have abilities above their threshold being recruited a they also can likely have platinum but nothing else a player that's been re-rolled and cheated for gets everything this cheat allows you to unlock every ability so early in the year people had commented hey why do i have 90 why do i have 83 catching and it only requires 80 for gold and i don't have it shouldn't they just upgrade no because they buy it with xp but if you do this method it auto unlocks them all let's take a look Look at the, what you want to look is right there where it says house call and every ability below it, where it says what they have versus what they need. So platinum requires an 83. This player only has an 82. So when re-rolled, he got his gold. Blanket coverage, 95 for platinum, has a 91. He got gold. Jammer requires an 81. He has a 75 press. Guess what? Didn't get it. Wrap up, 77. Now here's the one discrepancy. This occurs right before the training results period. So there will be a few discrepancies. Again, why you want to look at the whole team as a whole. There will be a situation where you'd say, oh, like their excuse might be, oh, wrap up is 75. I don't have that. Yes, because in the training period, when we did the up, when the upgrade comes after, they might go up and tackle slightly and it might give you one discrepancy like that. Quick jump, 96 Excel. He has 95, got gold. That's one example. But like I said, there's one discrepancy. So you might say, oh, that's, that's, that's an accidental one. So then you go to this guy. Nicholas Kiki, and you go down and you take a look. Man coverage for gold, he needs 90, he only needs an 87, so he got a silver. Jammer can't get it. House call, he had the he had the threshold, so he got it. Awareness needs an 88, can't get it. Knockout needs an 86, can't get it. You'll quickly notice that every player has exactly what they need. I'll compare this to a team that doesn't have that. I'll compare you to mine and keep showing you that. And if you keep on going down, you'll notice this for every position group. Go to David Ortega, go to physicals. And again, you'll know that in this game, most players 80 to 86 overall aren't loaded in abilities. It's more like when they get to the 90s because they, they just hit the threshold. So now they have to actually accrue XP. These players are just getting them. And again, that's key because by able by re-rolling them, you essentially make sure they spend all their XP just on ratings. And instead of getting a player, typically you have a player, right, that you build. He may max it a 92 with gold and platinum abilities and a 92 overall. By giving them the gold and platinum abilities, instead they just go up to a 98 overall because now it's all going to that. And they play better, so they get more XP. Again here, 94 zone coverage, only his 93, got his gold. Layout, short, doesn't have it. House call has an 84. Again, discrepancy of the offseason advance. You will go up slightly on some things. And so on and so forth. You'll keep noticing this trend on basically every player. It's like a 95% accuracy rating at this point. And you just keep going through and you'll notice it. You'll notice some players, shifty, shifty, platinum shifty is an expensive ability to get. And you'll notice that people who do this mostly have all their lucid backs get their platinum shifty once they're available. And you'll just notice a couple other weird discrepancies. Like for me, when I unlock a threshold, my player typically won't get that ability till much later in the season or next year because I got to get XP or may never get it. And you're like, wow, I wish I could have gotten Shifty. It's such a good ability. These people get them the moment they're available. And you'll, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about if you look at rosters enough and you understand how this game works. You'll be like, huh? How does he have Gold Magician at 83? Did he come with it? And you start to question yourself because this is, this is the tough thing about this game. There's 3,000 plus recruits. There's so many different teams. You don't play the same teams like you do in the NFL, like with divisions and stuff. Like besides your conference, like you play so many different out of conference games. There's some teams that you may never play. In my opinion, it's very hard to keep track as a league of recruits and players. So some of them do come with things that don't make sense. So you got to just kind of like look at it as a whole and keep comparing. And you'll just notice it's the same thing across the board. Look at this guy has all his abilities. And if you go in, I bet you would show the same thing outside of like the one discrepancy from training, but same concept short for silver got his got his bronze. 91 is a 91 must have just gotten in training same concept take off platinum gold same layout same thing this guy got a big offseason upgrade i think this is a senior year and those are where the discrepancies will probably appear in junior and senior year because for the most part those are the years when you get your big upgrades for the most part but yeah you can keep doing this and a few other things when looking at people's teams is just know that basically you don't have to switch the position somewhere new you can just flip back to your same position so the way you would do it for a quarterback or halfback a halfback you would switch them to a fullback and then back to a halfback 
a quarterback and switch them to something else and then back to that or you can change archetypes there's a few ways to do it so just know that you might say oh well i would know i would know because that guy was a left tackle and now he's a guard no because you put them right back at guard or you put them right back at left tackle so it's not as noticeable as you would think and this really gets crazier because you can also switch archetypes so you might have an 84 overall guy who's a speed rusher and he's only an 84 overall but he has 99 block shed so if you switch him to a defensive tackle or an end that's a run stopper his new ability can go his new overall rating go up to a 93 because he's actually built to be a run stopper which is fine but now you have platinum abilities and then you get a 93 overall and now basically the rest of the, the dynasty you can just build back up to 99 easily because you, you you skyrocketed the player now a few ways to moderate this in their freshman year the best thing you could do is just have people in your league send in pictures of their class player by player and it's like a if you're in discord like we have a we have a team tab where you can just send in your recruits, send in your classes, kind of sense you can kind of track progression. With abilities though, this is much harder because with abilities, you have to send each person. So that's like the best way to do it. It might be time consuming, but if you allow, if you force people to do that, it'll get rid of this thing. And most people, whether or not they admit it at this point now know about it because you will do an honest mistake. Like you will just honestly change a guy. You will just change a position of a guy because I need another guard. I'll change my tackle to guard or he's a better run blocker. And then you'll be like, wait, why'd they get abilities? Wait, he looks far better now. Like you start to notice it after a few seasons regardless. So in terms of moderating it, check teams that look suspicious, start to match up those thresholds. If five, 10, 15 guys start to look that way, it's pretty clear. The smart people will only do it on one or two at a time or throughout a few years and just make sure it's like so much, there's not, there's not, there's, there's more discrepancies and there are consistencies, but the guys who are greedy will do it on every single player or the majority of their players. At which point it becomes so apparent that they have done it and feel free to assess where you want from that or if you take nothing away from this video go watch my other one and learn how to do it either or guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you have any questions about this or how to track this make sure to comment down below hit me up on twitter and i will answer you a bit more directly if you have any questions subscribe if you're new let's hit 30k if we haven't already and if we have thank you guys so much can we get 600 plus likes in this video and of course comment down below if you have any other ways to moderate cheating or other cheating you do see in leagues as a whole obviously there's other things you can do like editing a player manually commission's changing weight and height for the changing weight and height one it's the same thing i said before have players send in that picture of their recruiting class screen that shows like height weight and overall that way you can just track that later on in terms of commissioners that is and so on and so forth there's there's way too many ways to kind of cheat in this game which kind of sucks but this is definitely the biggest one right now that you want to be keeping an eye on thanks so much for watching check out underdog use my code to get up to a thousand and for your free pick thank you for watching i'm out peace